that like 60, 70 percent that mm -hmm. it will actually make the difference because of Raster's weight to actually kill. So you can get some really early kills there. Um, Kronos is one of those characters with really strong pokes and really strong tech chases. So yep. getting to that 60% threshold isn't difficult for, for uh, Rano and hopefully Frig. 100%. But we see a bubble Great already. Bubble right and oh my god, this might as so well be kill percent. Yeah. See, like now this is where Raster does have to be a little, little careful. It's kind of nice because you might be able to get into like a, a pseudo arthritis percent if you can get out of some of this stuff because then things aren't going to link up as easily. But Rado has such strong area of a fair or a bear in the right spot is still going to kill. Right. Uh, I am surprised that this stage is the pick. Uh, me personally, I'm not a big fan of the stage for Raster, so I usually ban it. Uh, but I mean, human life should be more I mean, comfortable here. A lot of Rivals players really like Tower of Heaven. That is the very battlefield true. variant in Rivals 1. Yep. So seeing the Ho Dojo be this tri platform layout just feels like home. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he rips the down B like that. Oh, I love the quick hit fall uh, Nair oh, 1. So that was the Rano super jump. Yeah. Uh, into a beautiful bear. It's an 84% for Raster. This is definitely, oh my god, this is, <laughs> apparently this is just a raw up B moment. Uh, but this is, this is definitely like, oh my another god. Another one. Another raw up B moment. Uh, I'm going to clap. I was going to say this is like a down tilt or a grab situation, but I don't, apparently, apparently I don't know that. Uh, I don't know if that's true hey, or not. You gotta take some notes. Honestly, I might have to. That was a lot of raw up Bs. I love it. Okay, well, very smart. Uh, a lot you of see a lot of traditional Raster gameplay here, mm -hmm. trying to approach with aerials and such. Yep. These are two Rivals players, so you might not see Crouch Cancel or Shield as much. Yep. At least this early on in Rivals 2's development and age. I, I think one thing that Rivals players are just so insane at is just their ability to tech chase and chase these combos. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Raster and Rana, honestly, too. Wow, uh, fortunate DI for Frig there. But uh, both characters really, really excel at that type of gameplay. Uh, so I think definitely that's probably what gravitated uh, both these players between these people. Mm -hmm. Ooh, jab, jab, up, tilt into the back air. And I mean, right now, uh, Human Lime is definitely just going to try to run with this uh, that unfortunate earlier kill from the back of the eye. Uh, definitely get a little bit more extra credit. Ah, uh, but didn't get the... It probably could have been an upstrong to kill there. Even if the I sour think so, spot. Maybe. Yeah. It might have I think it probably would have worked. Okay. But I can see a throw confirm coming out soon. Maybe a back throw there, or... Maybe Rasta's too late for that. I mean, I wonder, you now I'm not sure. He might he might just get hit a little too far away. Fair uh, might just kill Raw. I think Fair will definitely yeah. kill Raw at this point. But right now, Human Lime getting so much extra credit right now. He's learned so much of this in Puff Coder School. Uh, like 85%. That's almost a full full grade. It's almost a full perfect test. Oh my god, a great uh, up smash call out. Or up strong call out, my apologies. Uh, okay, there we go. Gets the hit grab. Gets already. the up strong. Uh, and does get the kill. So a quick little JV2 for Human Lime, the Red Raster. I hear some icons fluttering around, mm. stages being banned, Fire Capital's the pick. All right, yeah, so I think I saw it was a... Uh, I saw Treetop Lodge, or whatever the yep. forest floor is, and Hyperborean being banned. Yes, yep. classic Hyperborean ban. I don't blame you. Listen, the only person I've seen pick it is Toma, because Toma's just a little little meme lord. Listen, uh, I love Hyperborean, because it might as well be the closest thing to Rivals 1 forest floor in this game. Mm, okay, Small enough, blast zones, generally good platform layout. Yep. Ooh, ooh, I love that landing up here for uh, for the Maniac. That looked really good. Oh, we're already combo. seeing a lot of scraps here 30 seconds in. Yep. And so this is a really smart stage choice, in my opinion, because I think Raster actually does struggle a little bit when the stage is this big, mm -hmm. just because you kind of actually have to... Oh, my God. Oh, that was from so good for Frig. Oh, it didn't get the B-reverse. Oh. But I think uh, Raster definitely... A lot of the neutral you want to do with Raster, um, you end up kind of getting a lot of your confirms in the middle of the stage, unless you're really chasing them off. So, but now a middle of the stage combo, like an up B or a clap, really isn't going to kill for a long time. So you either have to risk yourself and go out, uh, or you're just going to have to get them to a really high percent. But I think Rano is overall still going to have enough knockback to kill Raster, even from center stage at the right percents. Mm. Rano's uh, just this all-around character that is good in any part. He's good at edge guarding. A solid kill confirms and moves. Yep. Excellent tech chasing. Solid character. 
Oh, barely misses the tongue there, but does make it back very safely. Uh, Human Lime trying hard to close the stock out without losing too much more, but that grab is going to do a lot. Oh, the down, down the strong, new, trying to catch any DI out. The Rano down strong in this game is a game changer for, Frick is uh, doing, for some combos. Frick is just doing such a good job of keeping Human Lime in the corner and staying out of Raster's aerial range, which you don't see Human Lime going for dash attacks to try to catch Frigs just standing in place. Yeah. Yeah, now at this point, you know, this is one of those things where uh, I think I would like to see a little more shield play from Human Lime because uh, Frigg has been doing so much movement with all these aerials and things, and in Rivals 1, that's one of the scariest, you know, momentum moments uh, for neutral. But in this game, having shield, you can kind of force your opponent to have really bad spacing, and then you get a punish off it just like that there. Um, of course, we couldn't really get the kill from it, but that's what I want to see a little bit more of. Um, there we go. Oh, the up, the up out, out of shield, shield though. That's a classic. Big kill right now. That's definitely that has a lot of mileage for a lot of players. Um, Dude, I love up the out of shield. It's Even just so maple. Oh, Any oh, characters yeah. up the out of shield. Oh yeah. I don't think there's any more maple games this time though, so I can't talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if there's any maples left in bracket. There's plenty of them in top 16. Oh, very good. Okay, that's good to know. There have been uh, there have been a lot more rasters today than I thought I was going to see, which is kind of cool. Mm. A lot of crap. What? I've seen a lot of characters in crack. I think I the most common uh, matchup I've seen today has been Raster Crag. Mm -hmm. it's been a lot. Oh my god, another upbeat. Human Lime trying to stay in this right now. Um, needs just a little bit more. We need to get this kill around now. Uh, we really don't want to have to like win control four more times. Oh, that is a really unfortunate aerial toss. Does not get much off of it though. Oh my god, the poison. More down tilt. Yeah, more yes, more I down tilt. I think down tilt is a very strong option for Raster. And um, a very strong option for Frig. Yeah, apparently. Taking that game two. Evening it up. Great stuff to Frig there. I really, I really love uh, a lot of the Ranos that I've been seeing online and even seeing Frig here really utilizing some of the uh, the crazy momentum movement that you can get with, with Rano. Um, it adds a whole layer that you have to deal with uh, when you're playing against him. Uh, it's very flashy. There's a yes. lot of prep work involved, but it makes a character that's designed to have not a lot of aerial movement one of the most flexible characters in the air. In the game. Most definitely. Great tongue from, uh, from Frigg there. Pretty much evening it back up. I think Smashville, or, um, sorry, Jules Bale. Uh, my bad, Jules Freudian Bale. Slip. It really was a Freudian slip. Jules Bale, fantastic <laughs> stage choice here for Raster. This is definitely one of the stages I like a lot here. You really don't, Raster has so much jungle potential, so you really don't want a lot of platforms to interrupt with a tech. You have to end up doing a tech read or a tech chase instead. Uh, but I think this is a really smart choice here. Oh, that was so much movement, Jesus Christ! And Into the kill, oh, that would have no. been such a clip. Frick wanted that for Twitter, I could feel it. Um, but oh. doesn't quite get it. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> there was a scream in the venue. Something's and... happening in the mainstream. If you guys are dual watching, I'm sure you know what happened. Um, but Human Lime taking the first stock here in game three. Let's see if and we can get a little can bit more. And hopefully keep that mileage going. Yeah, great right down air. And again, you know, something that you said too, these are both rival one players. I really have not seen a lot of grabs from either one of them. Um, in this game especially, you know, one of the frustrating things um, that rival players are going to have to, you know, are having to deal with is how much stronger crouch cancel is in this game. Um, grab is usually one of the big tools you want to utilize at low percents, so you can get the, your opponent in the air. You can start juggling like this up air string into, oh, did not get the jump, unfortunately. If you hit the jump first, it would have confirmed. You can juggle out of grabs, you can yep. get resets out of grabs. Yep. Generally, you want to build up percent until they're out of that crouch cancel range, and then you can start going for those tilts. Yes, most definitely. And you can still mix up a tilt here or there, because you know once they start grabbing, if you start doing a lot of grabs, your opponent isn't going to want to crouch cancel as much. It's a pointless thing to do. And then all of a sudden, that mix-up game is there. Then you can uh, run up and down tilt yeah. them. And speaking of, a great mix-up on that back throw. The bad DI from Greg led into a perfect sweet spot F clap. Uh, and oh my god, Human Lime is not done yet. Oh, getting oh, another fair. Oh, push him off stage. 59% or 49% going. Not done. Going. Go, not, not done at all. Oh, the double. There we go. Oh, great okay. up there. Something Raster also excels really well when he has the lead. Raster is so fast, and you can just do a couple quick tap aerials. You can really just kind of rack up percent very safely. You just kind of get a little neutral win. You don't overextend, so you don't end up losing that stock because you are so light. Uh, and you look for a clap, just like this. A right. beautiful two-shot. Even if the up air doesn't really connect into anything, it's still percent that they're in the air for. Yep. You can chase them with a juggle or wherever they land. And especially Raster being the only character that has multi-jumps, all of the people that you're playing against, if you can get them to burn their jump, 
jump, all of a sudden Raster with such fast ground speed can get underneath them, start juggling, they have no resources, it can really lead to a lot more than sometimes the more obvious feeling, just go for another aerial after that first hit, just waiting that little bit can end up yielding, honestly, a stock like we kind of just saw there. Mm -hmm. um, so really great stuff to, to human lime. Ooh, an air armada, which, you know what I love? I love that, I mean, maybe this is, this is. I'm going to say a Rivals 1 opinion that could easily be wrong. I have no idea, because I don't, don't play worry. the game enough. Don't worry, Resident Rivals um, 1 player here fantastic. to verify the facts. Personally, as a Raster main, I don't like the Raster stage. Air armada and Rivals 1 and 2, I don't like either one. So I think I just think it's funny that the air stage that's clearly Raster is, in my opinion, is not that good for the character. To be um, honest, all stage picks in Rivals 1 are, like, personal preference. Yeah, 100%. Even 100%. if a character is perceived as bad, you can air camp on Aramata if you want. If you that don't like true. how to, you want to do that, then oh, don't. What an upbeat. That was that was not perfect DI either. Um, that actually almost uh, yielded a really early stock. Um, unfortunately, did not grab the ledge there. That could have been a really good edge guard situation too. But Human Lime definitely in the driver's seat right now. Craig is going to have to come up with a little bit more in neutral. His punish seems pretty good, but he's definitely been losing out in a lot of these neutral exchanges. Um, he's been going for a lot of really hard reads. Oh my god. Oh, great fair there. Yeah, and I love needle fair is such a cool uh, aerial pressure uh, string that you can do. Toronto. It's a great pressure string, but it's a very annoying edge guard to deal with. Oh yeah, honestly. Oh my god, yeah. There we go. Great shield work from Human Line. Good Again, old the down tilt square. And now you can see Lime waiting on the platform there. Yeah, I think he's trying to wait for his uh, slipstream to come back, so he has an option to work with. Uh, there we go. We have slipstream on we the ground. We saw a small little needle boost from Frig trying to get that extra. Oh, that's so momentum off the side. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, losing the stock there to an SD. He definitely tried to grab. Okay, I mean, the Human stock line, was already gone. Yeah, yeah. Didn't need to yeah. Do that. Human line being very nice. He, I'm honestly, Frig being very polite to double checking, saying like, "Hey, man, I'm so sorry I did that." I, I'm assuming he thought it was his last stock. If this um, wouldn't be, happen if tournament mode wasn't bugged. Unfortunately, you are not wrong. Uh, but you know, that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. This is only a beta. We know we love the game so much already, but it is still only a beta, I mean, so things will be fixed. One of my favorite things to do in Rivals 1 is whenever tournament mode is on or you're online, you can hold the press, uh, hold start, and it'll bring up this text on screen that every time you mash the start button, it'll flash the text. Oh, so while it doesn't pause oh, the game, wait, wrong. You, can, uh, you can be playful with the graphics. Yeah, that's cool. But we've seen a stock vanish from Human Lion. Freaks are getting something started. Oh, 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 this is this is the tech shape chasing. feeling tech He's tech right chasing. now. He's done. He's he yeah. wants the victory. Yeah, Frig is gonna have to dig deeper on this is losers. This is his loser's life right now, and he cannot figure a way to get this kill. The sweet spot pop is not enough on Aramana. The safe click is coming. Oh my god. He's catching the movement. Tongue right into the clap. Oh. oh my god! Okay, hello. Oh, really smart. Reusing the up the uh, the second oh. part of it. Oh, this is so he's scary. Fishing. He's oh, he's fishing, fishing for an up right now. Oh, gets the back row. Great DI. Oh, oh, goes for the down throw. That was so smart, calling out the tongue, uh, freezing in place there. Great stop to human line.